It's transactional. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's so, Mr. Mr. Ruckus, what if that lady is on that time of the month, and and you I need your I relation? Never, I never once did that. Never will. So, you, you, so you would prefer to if you can't do that, then you'll let her slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never do that. I, I've, I've never had not one time in my life. Okay. I oh, you corny. So. <laughs> I, I've been funny, but Kev, no, this is me. I'm joking, yeah. Mm. Hey, Mr. Ruckus, let me ask you a question. I know that you're a man. Um, but you have some points on on men to not marry. You have seven tips, I well, think. Kevin, speaking of marriage, Kevin, I want to. Kevin, can I can I give a shout out? Go ahead. I want to just shout out, give a shout out to all the lawyers out there, all the divorce lawyers out there making money off these people, because today we had a, we had a few a few more people about to go down. Tom Brady and his mean? wife just both hired lawyers. Oh, oh, today all the divorce today. M Miguel, but the great Miguel, the R&B singer. He and his wife just filed for divorce. And Tier Mori, just breaking news all the day, three, four hours ago. It's all, hey, 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 remember, fellas, I tell you, it's, when you're going to get in that plane, it's a 50 50 percent chance of the crash. This man is, you scream, don't you get scream in. sad. I know, I know. Y'all, y'all come with the same thing. Y'all come with the same thing. This man has issues. But I'm, I'm keeping it 100. Nah, listen. Every, this is what I got to say to you, Ruckus. This is what I got to say, and it's going to come from the heart to you. We all go through heartbreak. We all go through divorce. We all go through getting used and abused, because I feel that's what happened to you. We all get our money taken away. We all got played. We all go through it. For some reason, I think you manifest into no, that hurt. for some reason, I think you you accepting the bullshit. I don't accept anything. I just realize life is life, and you can't become... The negative. You have become the negative. Let me tell you something. I've been hurt. I'm being real. I've been through some shit. I'm being Let honest. me tell you something. I walk with a sense of peace over me that the most high put on me. I can't even explain the happiness and joy that I have in me. I wish no ill will to my ex-husband. I wish no ill will. I don't have that in me. You have it in you. You display no. negativity. I'm telling you. I'm being honest. See, you say you say that I'm, I'm being negative when I'm giving people the facts. I'm telling people what time That fact is. is your fact because you're bitter. Oh, oh, the, oh, it's not a fact that the divorce rate is about 50% in this country? Listen, people go through shit. Divorce okay. happened in life. Guys, listen to me, guys. Listen to me. You listen to me, guys? Listen to me, good fellas. Nobody want to be in their house by listen, themselves. Listen with to me, good on. fellas. By listen, themselves listen in their house with their hat on, drinking. Let, what is let, that? Let, let me hear what you Okay. Out liquor. of a what? That, that's it's giving. What I'm but, saying, but make 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 your point. That. So you don't think men should get married, sir? No, well, but brother Kev. Now brothers, now stop. Now some brothers gonna gonna give me an amen because some of y'all was like, "Oh, not my girl, dog." But at at one point, you realized you were sleeping with the enemy. She had your kids, and then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden, you got you were you were there. You were there in the divorce court. She was telling all your bitter truths, all the pillow talks that you let out. And you looked across and said, who are you? Who are That's you? That's what happened to you? I, I'm telling I it happened to many of my friends. It happened to you, though? It happened to me. No, I didn't, I didn't actually end up in divorce court. So why are you so court. triggered? Something happened. I'm not triggered. I'm keeping it real. Because my friends went through shit, and I don't go around wearing their bag. You wearing your friends' bag? Hey, Ms. Ruckus. The other day, here this is Tamara. The other day, you gave me a rule of requirements that a woman is supposed to do. You remember what they were from from going to the gym at five in the morning? You remember what they were? Yeah, if I if I was to get married, because I, I I did have a young lady that I thought about bringing into my life full time, and I gave her a schedule. Hey, at five o'clock in the morning, you got to get up, go to the gym, come on, come here, come back, make my kids lunch, make my lunch, and send me on my way when I come back home. Things got to be in order, and so on and so forth. <laughs> what about breakfast? A cup of tea when I get home. But Who does that for you? I'm, I'm just telling you, there are certain things I require. <laughs> if, if, if a woman's going to come into my house, she's got to be peaceful. <laughs> she's got to be peaceful. I'm not here, I'm not here to, to, to play around. I tell women just what I want. At this point, at this point I tell women straight up. I tell women straight up. Uh, look, if you and how, how does these, what age of women are these? Because I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to just say this. Ruckus, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this real quick for some of the ladies that need to say this to you. It is a woman that probably will do that for you. 
and you probably gonna have to pay her to do that for you. No, but see, here's see that's the problem. That's the because problem. Because right ain't there. no woman guys, doing listen, that. Guys, listen, you're not that dude. She's a Western, I told you this Western before. Woman you're not that dude. From the United States of America. That is why so many men. Breaking news, fellas. Breaking news. This is the reason why so many men in this country are checking out of the dating life, and particularly dating, dating, I, 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 women from Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> They getting their passports. You making me mad. You making me so mad. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. What is what is what is dating woman from MLK mean? What is that? What is that? Come on, kid. I mean, the explain so the folks. audience don't know. The melanated they... folks. Melanated folks. Yeah, you gotta pay those type of women because the black women not listening to this. Obviously, and that's why that's why brothers are checking out. They got brothers, no, no, no. The, the, all right, let me tell you the one that's checking out. The one that listens to podcasts every day. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. Not for it right, real quick. The ones that wear those white button-up t-shirts and them hats on with the fitted hats on that look real goofy. The ones with the glasses on. This the me. one that looks this real oh, you corny. Like the ones that look oh, real corny. You want to clown me? And you look I'm like not clowning you. I'm talking stuff? about the guys really? that talk like that. You are you kidding me? I'm talking about the guys the, the that head. walk like that. Girl, girl, come on. Let's, let's not do that. Come I'm on. not clowning you. I'm saying the men that you, talk like you, that you is a real cool ball dude. Here. You need to stop. You I am stop. telling you, the men that talk like that is the corny dudes. Hey, I get a lot of attention where I go. Let, I let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you a question, yeah. Ms. Rucker. So, um, do you... You 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 gave an explanation one time. I was able to say you when you know separation. You referred to your marriage um, that you're the CEO and you made an executive decision to release. Yeah. Somebody said only your like wife five men. Is that yeah. what? Yeah, I, I you know you can't can't ask me all the time and I explain to people you know because you know you the man is the leader the the the, the owner of the company when it comes to the marriage, right? So when you fire somebody from your company, it's usually your ID card has been revoked, your company email has been deleted. Here's your brown box. Go clean off your desk and say goodbye. Can but I just dismiss, say this though? But when you dismiss your wife and you tell her that she's no she's no longer needed, then the state comes in and says, "Well, you got to pay her a golden parachute out the door." I'm right, like, but no, she was a bad employee. Nah, nah, nah. You got to pay her cash and fabulous prizes going out the door. In the form of alimony <laughs> and child support. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. <laughs> the dudes that talk like you, I'm, I'm going to say this again. Yo, the fly dudes, they don't talk like this. And, they, and they're the same one. They, say, they get not pussy. My they, girl, no, no, they, they, they get, they get no, played. No, no, no. They get it. They get they it. They get played. The dudes I know that, many dudes let me got tell you, played. That dude out there, that's that dude, he don't talk like this. I'm every telling man, you. He's not even measurable. Every man is a target. What? Let, let me ask you a question. You met, you mentioned that you want a surrogate. Explain what is a surrogate, and that's what you 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 want to go out yeah, the country. Yeah, I, I was if I was to ever have a, a child again, because I have two wonderful kids. If I ever have a child again, I am going the route of a surrogate mother. I don't see nobody fighting to have a baby by you though. Like I can't imagine this shit. <laughs> I'm a great father. I'm dead. I, I can't imagine. I need your baby. I can't imagine somebody want a baby. I just can't. You look real frustrated. You I do. can see somebody say they'll get Kevin. I can see somebody get Major. I really, I'm not convinced with you. Okay. Ruckus, okay. I'm not, even the name Ruckus, it's given 89. It's given what? 1989. 1989. Or the 70s. That's me, though. But that's Get your chick saying, bitch, I got pregnant by Ruckus. The fuck? Nobody's saying that. Because that's not my name on the street. I'm about to get Ruckus's baby. At t and Tamara, in all fear of defense, I got to say, he is an excellent dad. I'm an excellent That's father. That's nice. Yeah, he's an excellent father. See, I got to represent my woman. Because he no, has people come on insane. Here. People come to my home. I got to represent and, my and, black and, and woman. Listen, this man is encouraging men to go out there and have baby by Mel Listen, I'm all about inclusive with black women and black men. So, so, so I, I got a black question. Men talk I like got you a question, You right? my target. I got a question, Ruckus. Hit me, brother. So, no, I'm not going to hit you. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, what do you feel that our melanated women need to do today to gain back 
the uh that's the a real good the, question major the momentum that's a good, in that's, that's, that, no, that's, a, that's a real good question brother good question First major all, they need to stop acting like dudes they, they need to stop being loud and rude in the street and learn how to take their proper place in the relationship you know i don't need a woman that's going to compete with me no I, i'm supposed to be a provider i'm supposed to be a leader stand down and take your position Mr. Ruckus is not with me, isn't. disrespectful with, to me and not appreciate me, you know. And then too, a lot of men. I, I hate to break the news. I hate to break the news. Uh, women, the a man, a lots of men don't like the hair weave. We don't like the nails. We 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 don't like the crazy eyelashes. We don't like it. So when well, a lot of women out, don't listen, like that. Listen, hat, listen to me for that a minute. That so listen, book listen, book. listen to me for a second here. Let me hear me out. So when y'all losing out. The flat back Kaylee and long haired <laughs> Becky and and and, um, and Maria from the, down the block, or the brothers getting their passport going over there, don't have anything to say. But that's don't not every black women. Say. That's not every black woman. And I'm gonna say this about our black sisters. Let me say this about our black sisters. Think that's, it's, you think it's acceptable, and when we stand up and tell you we don't like it, y'all. I mad. understand your point there. I understand your point there, but I'm going to say this to you. That is not every black woman. There are black women out here that embrace their natural beauty. There are black women out here that embrace who they are. Okay, so that's not every black woman out here wearing lashes and doing all that foolery. There's not. It's a small percentage of black women that are like that. Most of my friends are not like that. Most of my sisters are not like that. So you might have come across, you know, the problem is with some of you men, not all, the ones that's like you, though. Y'all get, the, like, hurt by big booty Judy, sexy pretty girl. And then you put it on every black women. The one that got the weave and the lashes, y'all go after them. Those are the ones y'all go after. Ruckus, do you though. date with Moby? Moby, though. What about Moby though. I, I ain't oh, agree with that. I didn't say that you. No I said the man like Ruckus. Oh, like Ruckus. Now, no he don't, he don't date, he don't, he don't date no, no African women. And that are disrespectful. Well, what the ones that? that hurt him in the past. It's just the behavior that I've witnessed. It's the behavior. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me stay up for a second. Um, if he's made a choice to like certain, I have a preference. I have a certain style of woman that I like. And does that make me a bad person? If he's made no, a preference to like. No, I have a certain like, style of man I like. That don't mean I go and dog every black man and say they ain't shit. Yeah, but I don't know if he, he, said he, he, he say, he's he saying the ones on MLK. Right? What he said just now, he, might, he painted a brush over black women. He just did. And he stated that not to have babies with black women. So don't make the excuse. I, he, he, he didn't say black him. woman. He I referred to a type of woman that he's talking black. about our black sisters with the lashes. He's talking about and, the and, and, he said the people from Martin Luther King, King Boulevard. Huh? It, it, he he's referring to a behavior. <laughs> it, he's a he's behavior speaking about black woman. Period. Let's let's be clear. He I don't know if I mean his mother's a black woman. I don't know if he's saying that. I think he's speaking about. And what about? And what about? He's not talking about white women. He's not talking about Chinese women. He's speaking about black women. You never address the attitude in the black community, and you never. I you I I spoke about the attitude first. The you never address the attitude. The loud talking, the disrespect. There are a percentage of black women that speak loud. I'm huh? one. There are a percentage of black women that speak loud. Not a lot. Look, I speak loud, but I also know how to articulate myself when needed. Well, well, let me, and I let also me tell know you. how to stand in brothers, a, that talk like let me, you. Let me, let, me, let me tell you something, T. I, I'm, I, this is breaking news once again. I got friends from different communities that I hang out with from time to time. Okay. Actually, I should say all the time. Okay? And, there's, and the same way I've dated women from other cultures, so have they. Right? And we talked about the loud and disrespectful behavior. So leave you know those women alone. Tell you, let me finish my statement here. Let me finish my statement. And I'm going to tell you, you know what my, we, and I, I can't defend y'all. I can't because my friends like, yeah, yeah you know who are the loudest ones when, and the most disrespectful ones? The ones, the ones, the black women. And I'm like, girl, you're right. Exactly. You're talking about well. black women. So that's why I said I'm going to say this to you. Overall, what you said, I'm still going to go back to say this. You were addressing black women. You were speaking about black women. So I'm going to say this. I have been hurt by black men. I have been through a lot of stuff by black men. I don't take a platform and go tell black women to stay and marry black white men and leave black men alone. You make it your business. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you what kind of Hold on one second. You make it your business to tell black men to leave black women alone. If you have a problem with the ghetto one, leave them ghetto women alone. That's what he said. You have different kind of women in every well, culture. I, I you got women. ghetto white I'm women. Tell you, T, I just know hear me women. out. Let me just Go finish. Ahead. You have ghetto white women. You have ghetto Chinese women. You got every kind of ghetto. 
What I'm saying to you is that you have a problem with black women when you speak because you keep saying they're loud, they're this, they're lashes, but then yet you decide to go outside your race and tell a man to go have baby outside their race. You're my target. I target men like you because I have a problem with men like you that tell our black men to not be with us. We already have enough problem in our community. We don't need a well, mole I, I don't to come cause problem. You, you should tell black women to do better. I Listen, my do platform better. is used to do that every day. Do better. My platform is used you, to do that every tell, day. You should tell I'm still to not going to tell my black sisters to leave day. our black kings alone. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on. So what happened is, Tamara, don't take it personal. I understand what he's saying. He, he made reference to a type of caliber woman. You're correct. They are ghetto every race, and everybody have their own MLK. I understand what he's trying to say. Maybe it comes across the wrong way as, as degrading, but what he's saying, how do we get our brothers, our sisters to do better? If he says he doesn't like the weave and the nails, like I've seen certain things too that I think these girls here in Florida, I've seen with these shocking That's weave that. colors and orange yeah. and neon green. They look like Jamaican girls. Huh? White women are doing that now too. I they understand. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make give them no break. I'm just saying, I try to not listen to things with the emotion. I remove emotion and I just try to hear the point that he's saying. Because sometimes when people attack me or say stuff to me, I try to remove the feeling of the emotion, but let me hear their point. And I think what he's saying is maybe our sister should hear if the men has problems. But well, he's with saying this. black women. And when he says So that, black women are not supposed to be that. responsible for anything that say, men are saying. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this. I don't mean to say ghetto because I've I've dealt with black women and I've and I'm talking about in my in my workplace that held professional position that did well at their job, but their physical appearance was comical. Listen, listen this is what I'm saying. I don't like had, this. This right here I don't like. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it. I don't like it. I'm, huh? Listen, let me explain something to you. I know for a fact that they are ghetto women and I still love them. I know women that wear weaves and long nails. I'm not disrespecting none of my people. Do you I'm understand gonna, that? I don't, I don't care how comical ghetto. they are. It is embarrassing to see a black man talk like this about our own. Look, we somebody, have some, issues. Somebody just commented and said, why are black men so worried about what women do with their hair and nails because we are your counterparts and, and 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 we are attracted to you so if we are doing something that we're not attracted to do we have a right to speak on it no you don't and i watch I this let me let, hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on let me say something now um and we got to control the emotion how do we solve some i was in the gym today and i seen a man coming in with a body rider on working out and all this stuff doing the most now i think the reason why I say this is people have the right to say what we should do for ourselves. And Major's right. If our ladies um, look a certain way and men want to comment on it, they attack them for it. Men, now, if you see a man coming in there with that, ladies, and they want to say something they man shouldn't have that on, they should have the right to say so. If I, a, a person approaches me and say, hey, Kev, brother Kev, this didn't approach, I didn't like this, I'm going to try to listen. I'm not going to take it as a defense mechanism Kevin, and assume, yes, love. I don't have a problem with you, with Major saying, we don't like this. I don't have a problem with a black man saying, listen, I'm tired of the nails and the lashes. I have no problem with that. But, but, but you know what? Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me say something. I understand, but hold on. Let me ask you a question. Why, when I, you know who the number one proponents of beating black men? Black women. And why do so many other women are taking away the black men? And when they get married to them, they're, they're, their marriage rate lasts longer. This is no, just they a don't. Fact. The, it, no, no, no. Let me give you some stats it, real quick. No. Let me give you some professional stats. No, they don't. Are the you an attorney? Divorce rate. Yes. We are the highest. You're an, att you're an attorney. No, no, no. It's oh. not that I'm an attorney. I'm on a show called Eight at the Table. And when we speak publicly, we have to come with our facts. So I'm going to give you some quick facts. Share, share to them. show that I'm on. And I have to study what I speak about before go I ahead, go ahead, speak go ahead. about it. Go ahead. So I'm going to say this. The stats on highest divorce rate. And plus, I'm a social worker and I have a master's degree. But I'm going to throw that in there, too. So I'm gonna but you, well, let me tell you something. Remember this. When you refer to your degrees, I'm gonna that's refer a, to hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a, that's a sign of an employee because no, me as a business owner, that's nice. hold on, that's hold on, hold on. Let me prove something to you. Business owners don't give a damn about your degree. That's I don't have, don't, hold on, watch this, watch this. I don't have no degree. I employ people with degrees. That's nice, that's nice. So that's what I'm saying. When you, I have my degree. I have no degree. I but do. guess what? I sign checks for people who have degrees. That's all I'm trying I, to tell you, love. It doesn't need to, pro to prove a point. Intelligence has no uh, I am going to give accolade. you some stats. You made a point, and I'm going to give you some give stats. It to me. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. The highest divorce rate, okay? The highest divorce rate, yes, is black men and black women. We're the highest, one of the highest. Black men choose to go marry um, biracial. They're the highest in divorce. Biracial relationships are the highest in divorce, not black men and black women. 
Now you can Google the stats. Y'all have the highest divorce. Not black men and black women. Biracial relationships. The ones that choose to go marry a white woman. Well, uh, even though we, we are we, getting we, divorced, we, we, and y'all choose to go I'll, out I'll and look marry. It up, but, okay, yeah, we. I don't. I we'll married, look it up. But I was not married to a white. You can look it up. Just, just so you know. <laughs> so, uh, all right. So here, here. How do we move forward um, with because to marry? You know what I've seen. I've seen my black brothers get beat by their black sisters really bad. And this is true. I see it all the time. And they cuss their man really bad. Okay. And, and, they, and the thing is, because it's very we don't shameful. Have, because we don't have any value. That's why. That's if, if somebody doesn't value you, then what, 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 what respect do you think but, you're going to get? And, and, and Hold on, let, me, let, me, let, me gonna, let me say this, brother, about valuing black, black men. It's, and I would agree with you on that because, you know what? If we're supposed to be the protectors and providers, why would you do something to cause that protect, protector and provider to leave, leave the marriage? I mean, um, I, I feel sorry, honestly. If, um, a part, listen to me, guys. A part of me feels sorry when I see a woman in her 40s living alone with children, especially saying, like, what happened? Why, why are you not with a, with a security guard, a protector and provider living with you in the home? What, hold, what on, Rux, hold on, hold on, let me respond to somebody. Somebody made a promise, a comment here say, master degree versus no degree is, carries more weight. Depends. When I go to the bank, the fucking manager come open the door for me. Let me humble you. Don't take away nothing from somebody who works hard. When people throw up degrees both and all that hard. stuff, I understand we both work hard, but guess what? <clears throat> a lot of people do that, and I have an issue with that. They always come out and start saying, well, my degree, that, is, that doesn't mean nothing to no business owner that employ people. We intellect conversation you can be able to reason with the person and respect no, them. No, but I Someone only jump out my there. degree because you said says I, the lawyer. I understand. I the, 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 people do it all the time, but I always tell them it doesn't mean yeah, that because guess what? You directly said says the lawyer. I, have I understand. I understand. You're educated. correct. You know what I'm talking but, about. But what I'm saying is when people do all that stuff, it's not necessary. To, it's to try to prove a point. If somebody come out here and say, okay, you have 15 degrees. I have none, but I have accomplished more than you in life. No, but th that, that's, that's right. it, it, I get it. So let me let me say I was going to say a point that um, <clears throat> what what I want to say to Marin. Oh, first, I want to thank you for being on here with three men, mm -hmm. and I I applaud you for holding it down for oh, your no, ladies. I, I, and I, and, I, and you and you you tough girl. You really going and um, <clears throat> one of the things that I, I see as a problem, and I know a lot of people have issues with this. I do see a lot of women are very unappreciative of men because I represent the working man. Men go out here and have jobs. They work, take care of the family. They provide. Even bad day, cool, uh, good day, sick day, they get up, go to work, they come home, get cussing out them rods. They, they, they feel like they're ungrateful. They're never good enough. No matter what the man do, I've seen a lot of that. Is in all cases? No. But that is something that I see happens a lot. And men feel devalued, and they don't feel like they're appreciated. Well, Dale, and... I'm going to say this regarding what you're saying. Yes, love. There are women... Right now. Now, I, mm -hmm. I don't take that away. That is the facts. Because I have brothers and fathers. I come from a huge family of men. So I understand that. But let's speak on some facts. Let's, let's dig deep in the facts. The facts is this, that the man has not been in the household for the women for the past, I would say, 30 years. Where are they? It has been an unbalance with black men and black women relationships. Both, 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 both by choice and both, both by, by choice. But I'm, by choice, but on, hear me out. Both by choice and systematically. Yes, and systematically, because it's not that the black men didn't want to be there. System was in place. So <clears throat> black women had to take the role. The role where masculinity is running rapid right now because of it. Women had to take the role of becoming the, their own man in their household, financially and everything. But, but let me ask you a question, Tamara. To the, to the so, fact, to, no, one minute, this, let me finish out. To the no, fact on, that I, black I know, women I know where you're going. I know where you're going. But what I'm saying is, country. where are these men at? What you mean? Where are they? Where are the men? Why are they not in the house? System has been in place. So many things have happened to us as people. Mm -hmm. And whose fault That's is, why that? I mean is that? That's why me and what is, we do try to get. Is it the man's together. fault? Is yeah. it the man's fault? Is it the man's fault? No, I don't fully think it's the man's fault. No, I would never no, say and, it's and all I, black and, man's okay, fault. And we're gonna let me. Can I? Can I jump? I always again? say it's not all black man's fault. I always say that. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. And, and and this is why we have the culture that we have today. Where uh -huh. a lot of people, don't, a lot of black women, as you said, don't appreciate having that protective provider in the home because if she if she gets rid of that protective provider or doesn't respect him to keep him in the home, you know what she's got to back her up? She's got the government. She's either gonna she's no listen. Let, I, let me finish my statement. She's got she's got the government in the form of welfare. 
and other social benefits. She's got the, her girlfriends telling her, girl, you don't need a man. So, so where's, where's, where's her, where's her um, big mama telling her, girl, that's your, that's your baby daddy. You should probably try to work it out with him and marry him and, and, and create a family. Can the I whole, just say this? The whole, sure. And then it's like, and, and you, know, you know what I really feel sad about? I got a friend, and, it, and it's, she's got a very intelligent daughter. But she's telling her daughter, you don't need a man. Go to school. Get your education. And I know and a very beautiful young lady. Where, and I say to myself, where's that little young lady going to be 10 years from now when she should have a, have a, have a um, family, when she should have a husband and, and, and made some kids? No, she's listening to her mom and all her friends telling her, I don't need a man. It's the culture. It's got to start from the old heads telling these girls, stop it. Stop it with your career first and put your family first. Well, I'm going to say this. Black women didn't have the choice to put their career first. They had no choice. And black men also had no choice but to be out of their household, getting locked up, getting, you know, marginalized. So many things has happened in place. It's not a black man's fault or a black woman's fault. It's not the black Jeez. mama's fault. It is what led up to now all of the circumstances from the crack era to wait let me finish all of what has happened to our people lead up to 2022 is what led to this right now why we're having this conversation people don't understand that it's cause and effect what has happened in the past led to this the crack era the marginalized the redlining everything led to this and now we are here and instead of us try to work together we have our black men telling our black men to go find another <laughs> culture of we have because our black when, women singing when, when songs. Many of us songs. Don't feel wait, wait, let me just finish. We have Go our ahead. black women singing songs saying "fuck nigga," don't need a fuck nigga. So stop pointing the finger. To, to, no, the, the correct, Tamara. Hold on, hold on, Tamara. You're with... correct. Let me let me say something again. There's so another quick fact. All of us here all have black mothers. Um, I don't know if you have any children, but all three of us men, I have all, a son. all three of us have daughters. My pride and major has a daughter. He has a daughter. We all have daughters that are black. So if we try to remove that and, and, and say one of the things that I do, Mr. Marriott,